Polish authorities have said that migrants are still trying to cross overnight from Belarus, although in smaller numbers and smaller groups. This is a day after Belarus cleared the main camps from where people from the Middle East had huddled at the border. The clearing of the camp and the first repatriation flight to Iraq in months appeared to signal a change of tact by Minsk that could later help calm a crisis that has now spiraled in recent weeks into a major east-west confrontation in Europe. But the EU rejected a proposal by Minsk that it would take in 2,000 migrants, making it clear that the dispute was not yet resolved. China has warned Lithuania that it would take all necessary measures to safeguard national sovereignty. This after Lithuania allowed Taiwan to open a de facto embassy. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Lijian told a daily press briefing in Beijing that Lithuania will have to pay for what it did. Taiwan opened a de facto embassy in Lithuania in a diplomatic breakthrough for the Chinese claimed island. Brushing aside Beijing's strong opposition to the move which again expressed its anger and warned of consequences. The two frontrunners in Chile's presidential election, Jose Antonio and Gabriel Boric, closed their campaigns on Thursday, rallying with hundreds of supporters. The top two candidates represent a deep divide amongst the voters, with Cast, a hard-right candidate representing the Christian Social Front Party, running neck-and-neck -neck with left-wing candidate Boric, representing the Arburo, Dignidad Leftist Party. Anti-abortion protesters and pro-choice activists clashed in front of the Constitutional Court in Bogota, which is set to rule on a case that could decriminalize abortion in Colombia. In 2006, the Colombian judiciary approved the termination of pregnancy in cases of rape, malformation of the fetus, with a risk to its survival or risk to the life of the mother. The Austrian government has said that it will reimpose a full coronavirus lockdown this autumn to tackle a new wave of infections and that it will require its whole population to be vaccinated as of February. Roughly two-thirds of Austria's population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19, which is one of the lowest rates in Western Europe. Austria introduced a lockdown for all those who were unvaccinated, but since then infections have continued to set new records. Scores of Mexican adolescents were taken to California on Thursday to get vaccinated against the coronavirus as efforts get underway across Mexico to get shots in the arms of teens. The pilot program in San Diego aims to get shots in the arms of 450 young people aged 12 years to 17 years before it ends in late December. The adolescents from Tijuana were selected by the Mexican social service organizations including those who work with the children of parents deported from the United States. The effort comes as Mexico is starting to roll out vaccines for minors in many parts of the country this month, including in Baja, California, the state bordering the U.S. state.